Brought to you by Marks with Mikes. Warning, the video that you're getting ready to watch contains very strong language. You have been warned. What's going on? We are back once again, and it is me, Mr. Six Foot Nine, JT the Godfather, joined by the Juice Man. Hello to all my juice boxes. And I of course, here. right here, Ruthless Lala is in the building. What's going on, girl? Is the Queen Super Savage saying respectfully? Ruthless Lala. Respectfully, respectfully, respectfully. Well, she said it in her promo, and she made good on her damn promise. She said she'd be watching Rainside to see who won in the side of this match, and goddammit, she did that. So I got to know, in that last match, I watched the footage. Clearly, your foot was on the rope. It was bullshit. Straight bullshit. Straight bullshit, like, respectfully. At the, at the end of the day, if she would have beat me straight up, this wouldn't even be a conversation that was going down. But the fact of the matter is, she didn't beat me because she can't beat me. I'm too damn ruthless for her mind to even manipulate or even try to understand what is going on. Just that few seconds, it doesn't take me long to get my point across and to show exactly why I am exactly just that damn ruthless. So I talk to management. And tomorrow, it's not just Laura Loveless versus Shauna Reed. It's Laura Loveless versus Shauna Reed versus Ruthless Lala for the RSW Real Shoot Wrestling Women's Championship. And when it's all said and done, I will be your new RSW Women's Champion, respectfully. Damn right. So that is breaking news right here on Mars with Mice. I had no idea. So there is going to be a triple threat match April 13th. Make sure your ass inside the building. All I know is she's going to fuck everybody up in that ring. Because you see what she did out there earlier. Clean the whole team out. That's why she ruthless. More than ruthless, this is Queen. She's a savage rider. Savage. So, super savage. Super savage. Say it with me now. Like, so you gotta, Queen, super savage, same. Say it with me now. You ready? Queen, Queen super, super savage, savage same. same. Respectful. 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 Oh, there you go. You see that? No one's half the battle, and now you know. So, with that being said, what is next after this RSW? Women's Championship match in a triple threat because clearly I'm be I'm betting my money on you. It's gonna be a lariat party for honestly anybody who want to come get it. Like I don't back down from no man, no woman, midget, mystical creature. <laughs> I don't care who you are. You can be the mermaid or the mermaid for all oh, I care. Right. At the end of the day, I'm gonna show exactly why I am just that damn ruthless. And everybody is getting a lariat party. I am handing out lariat party invitations. And I'm knocking fucking heads off tomorrow. Respectfully. <laughs> well, that is a party that I don't mind attending as long as I ain't catching one of those Larrys. Me neither. I you definitely know. don't want them problems. And then again, you may have to reach up a little bit higher for me, you know. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. I know, that's Ooh. right. Talk that shit. Well, first of all, the bigger they are, the slower they fall, because I fall in slow motion, okay? So. Super slow motion. You think so. You think so. Oh, oh. You know what? I don't even want to find out. Yeah, you don't. I don't want to find out. But with that being said, I have to know right now, what is your goal at the end of 2019? Honestly, I plan on being outside the United States, uh, UK, um, Japan, London, uh, Ireland, Spain, like, and like, I'm not trying to go by myself, like, I'm trying to go with my squad because like, I got some great individuals that are like, they're my best friends and like, you know, I'm not going to put them on the spotlight, but best believe this is by far one of the most dopest tag teams that's being like not like not not looked like they're being overlooked and so uh yeah we're trying to go and fuck up all the church money so i plan on being <laughs> not local and outside the united states for as long as possible well i definitely see that coming i mean you got global written on you you definitely uh definitely ain't holding no punches back not not name one and not name larry now you speak of your squad you, you want to give a shout out to the squad? That way we can uh, definitely let our viewers know who, who they are. I uh, I hate them. Uh, I just want to say that I hate them right now. We're, we're not on the same page, but uh, 
in my opinion, they are by far the best tag team ever, and that is the Gymnasty Boys. Shout out to the Gymnasty Boys. We just had White Mike up here just now, and those guys are very great at what they do, and they they captivate the crowd as soon as they come out, even from their intro music. I love that intro. <laughs> like like this is the thing that I say about personally, but like at the end of the day, you know, you see White Mike and you see Timmy Lou, and some people are automatically thinking, oh, you know, this is just about to be fun or like this is about to be whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then once they get in the ring, they go boss for walk. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So like I said, like right now we have a disagreement, and like we like. We're not on the same page right now. So, but, uh, what's How going we doing? Well, how's it going, Tim? How's it going, brother? How we doing? Doing all right. So we have uh, RSW's very own Tim just stepped in. Uh, what can you tell us? <sighs> that was an eventful night one. Very eventful. Uh, I wasn't expecting uh, Ruthless Lala to go in there and start knocking heads off. Neither was I. Well, if you would have did your job the last show and made it right, I wouldn't have had to do what I did tonight. I don't lie. I'm ruthless. Nothing in the dictionary about ruthless says lie at all. I show no goddamn pity. And you were supposed to make it right. Why? Because you can't say you didn't see it. There was footage. And I, what did I say? On Twitter, I said, RSW management, make it right. But what happened? It went in one ear and went out the other ear. What happened? I beat the hell out your champion. I have literally personal things going on in this company right now. I literally cannot control everything. First off, I do not have the ability. All the important things that you have going on, I should be in that category because I am by far the most ruthless goddamn female you have in real shoot wrestling. Those are facts. That's not an opinion. So I should be in that importance. So when I get screwed over making a debut, it needs to be made right. Especially when the writing's on the wall. I literally cannot argue that fact. But I, there's literally, I have people watching my house, going after people's families. I'm sorry, but that is wrestling. There is like personal things going on. So that being said, I'm tired of dealing with the bullshit. I'm tired of dealing with the, oh, I don't get my title shot. And I don't get this, and I don't get that, so I'm done dealing with it. So, what I'd like to announce right now is if you have a problem, the new person you need to talk to is a Mr. Six Foot Nine, JT. Because I'm tired of dealing with it. Do you want problems? Oh, listen here. Any problem that you have, I'll be gladly to handle it for you. So, Tomorrow, like I already told them, tomorrow, whether you like it or not, I will get my rematch. I don't care who she's wrestling. She's wrestling Shauna Reed. Not anymore. It's going to be her versus Shauna Reed versus myself. And it's going to be for the Real Shoot Wrestling Women's Championship belt. And there's not a damn thing you or you can do about it because you already seen. I already dropped the security and I dropped the referee who wanted to get in my face without a problem. But if you're knocking out referees, how do you expect to get a count at the end of the match? I'm ruthless. There's a referee around here. Two of them were smart enough not to touch me. Exactly. So you better hope one of them are assigned to your match. First off, Tim, you watch the way you're talking to me, bro. I don't I don't like your tone at all. At all. At all. And, and even on top of that, it was self-defense. She put her hands on me first. But you came into my locker room. I know. That could be and taken champion, as disrespectful. And your champion put her hand on me first. And I'm not it saying she did. And, and it was handled the way it was handled. But all I'm saying is, is I've got other things to deal with. And yes, championships in real shoot wrestling is a very important thing. So the fact that I feel that we're not women, as right though. now, we're not women, so, but, all but the women is not important to you right now. All champions. If it was really important to you, Tim, then you would fucking handle it. But and instead, no, you're not. You're passing it on to somebody. Why? Let's call it how we call it. You really don't like women's wrestling. You really don't like it. So guess what? It's okay. Don't like it. Pass the responsibility on to somebody else. Because anything. when I show everybody if why I'm just shush. that fucking ruthless, Tim, I'm going to make you eat all your fucking words. I promise you. All the personal problems you're going through right now is nothing compared to what I can do to you respectfully. So tomorrow, I don't even want to talk to you no more. I'll just see you tomorrow. And there you are. You just had it. Ruthless Lala has had it with Tim 
and we will see her tomorrow. Just because she said a lot of words really fast with some attitude doesn't mean a goddamn thing to me. So she could take that attitude and shove it up her la la wahoo. I don't care. So she's gonna show up tomorrow and she's gonna inject herself into this match. So that's what's gonna happen. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we just go ahead and make this official? I have no problem with it. Obviously, she's got more problem than anything else. If she would have just stopped talking, I could have made the match. But when you don't shut up, you don't get to hear anything. Well, she we... didn't hear shit just now, except for she just decided to get her feathers ruffled and stomp out. So, will I give the match tomorrow? Do I have a problem with it? No. It's your call to give. It's my call to give. But if that's how she's going to handle things from now on, nothing's going to be handed to her from this point on. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll make my decision on that tomorrow. Tomorrow? I'll make my decision on that match tomorrow. Okay. This is the official unboxing video for the Marks of Mike's guys. Thanks for the, for the package. This is Harper who won us this lovely gift. Let's open it up. It's for you, pal. You earned it. Let's take a look. Let's see what we got, right? Here we go, fellas. This is this is for the winner right here. Here we go. The official United States Championship belt. And here is the official champ right here who won us this belt. Well, here's the real one for you. And we'll put this one around your waist. Nobody does it like the champ right here. Say hi. Hi. Say thanks. Thank you. Thanks, fellas. Yeah, I won't give up cause I'm unstoppable Elbow drop off the top, what would Macho do? Heavy hitter, so high risks are optional Styles clash, but that forearm's phenomenal Air coffee, it doesn't matter the angles, man Finish you with the ankle lock or the angle slam Corbin, I'll correct